God wants to give us joy. God came to this world. Because he saw we were without joy. He saw that joy was stolen from our lives. And he wanted to give us joy that would last. In God's presence is the fullness of joy. He will make straight the path of life. In the presence of God. Who wants to be in that presence tonight? Who wants to have joy that's beyond the world? And I felt so much love from her. Because you know, like a gift that's given with love is is a really special gift indeed. And that's why we talk about a Christmas time because God is the one who has given us this gift. And He gave us the gift of His own that He came because of His love. When we choose to put Jesus in our lives, this is what's going to happen in our lives. When we choose to receive God's gift of love for us, when we choose to receive His plan for our lives, this is what happens. We have life. He gives us the choice. And this is the day that you can choose to transform your life. <laughs> so good to see everybody here tonight. Especially my dad. Welcome my dad. Yes. And also today arrived my older sister. Yes. She looks younger, but she is older. And I also want to say thank you to all the people this morning worked so lovingly with the children. I was on a truck. Full of children. We come back. And then we take the full truck of children back to the village. At the last stop. There's still one girl sitting there. And our social staff said, oh, this is the last stop. You need to get out. And she says, no, 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 this is not my home. <laughs> this is the last stop. I don't live here. Where do you live? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what is, what is the, in what area do you live? Siem Reap. Siem Reap. Siem Reap. Okay, let's go back to the campus. Okay, to the campus. Okay, to the campus. Okay, to the campus. On the way back, we stop. Is this your home here? No, I'm going to go to the campus. I'm going to go to the campus. I'm going to go to the campus. And sometimes she would say, uh, Maybe over there? No, no, I think over here. And our loving social staff keep asking who, who is your parents? To your brothers and sisters. How come you are alone on the truck? So we come back to the campus. And the, and the social staff said, Do you now know in what area did you come from? And she says, Yes, this area. 
and the social said, what? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the motor parking. I came with the motorbike. <laughs> My uncle, he brought me on the back of the motor. <laughs> she was happy. Social staff was happy. I was happy. The uncle was happy. And we had peace again. Peace. This was my awesome transition to the word peace. Yes. The prophet said, A child has been born. God has given a son to us. And his name is Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. What is peace? When I feel safe. When no one tries to kill me. When I know where my house is. What is peace? King David had a very good way to describe it. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. I have a protector. I have everything. This is a picture of peace. And then he writes, God, he lets me rest on green pastures. Rest. Peaceful. In a beautiful place. This is peace. He leads me to calm water. Not to the dangerous storm. To the calm water. That's peace. Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid. Because you, God, are with me. That's peace. When it's dark. But God is with me. And then he writes, You prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. What? I might check. God prepares a meal near my enemies in front of my enemies. That does not sound so peaceful. I don't think we want to be around our enemies. No. We don't want to Eat in front of our enemies. What does David mean? What do I focus on? Do I focus on what goodness God has prepared for me? Do I look at what God has for me? Or do I look at the enemies? Do I enjoy the goodness of God? David says, Surely God, your goodness and love will be with me. 
It's what I see right here. And it will be with me all my life. As well as my enemies. But I look on to the goodness of God. Because I will stay in the house of God for the rest of my life. Why the house of God? Because in the house of God there will be a table. And God is a cook. And he has goodness for me. What are you looking at? Are you seeing the goodness that God has given into your life? Or do you see your enemies around? I want to invite you to this table. I want to invite you to the table of God. Your enemies will also sit down. Your problems will also be there. But when you look at what God has given you, you will feel the peace of God. You are living in that peace of God. Jesus says, My peace I give you. So don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't be afraid. Your enemies will always be with you. But this is the moment when I say, God, I will sit down at your table and I will raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I say, God, thank you for, for the goodness. Even though my enemies are here, but my peace is in God. And then I can go to my worries. My worries will still be here. My lies are still here. But it will turn into worship. My sickness is still at the table. My doubt is still at the table. But it will become a song of worship. My fear. My bitterness. Is still at my table. But I look at what God has done. And I can say hallelujah. Despite my enemies, God is my peace. Let's stand together. And let's sing together. I raise a hallelujah.
Hallelujah. 